I think you have a fan. I think you have a lot of fans here tonight. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I lie, 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 yeah, I lie, lie, yeah, I lie, 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 yeah, I lie, lie, lie. Good evening, Shabbat Shalom, and welcome to all our members of Temple Anshe Shalom community and guests online and in person. I'm Hannah Bernwolfson, your summer rabbinic intern, and I'm so pleased we can all welcome Shabbat together this week. We'll begin on page 120 with the candle lighting, and I'm delighted to call up Rob and Arlie Singer to honor us with the kindling of Shabbat light. Shabbat. Shabbat. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we, by our lives, give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we in our own day be among those who kindle light. <coughs> Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Alom, Asher Kitshanu B'mitzvotah B'tzivanu V'hadlik Ner Shel Shabbat. Blessed are you, Adonai our God, Sovereign of the Universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to kindle the light of Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom to everyone. Thank you so much for coming out tonight, especially Shabbat Shalom. Honored to serve on the Bima with Hannah Byrne Wilson, our rabbinic intern this summer. When someone grows up in the community and makes the choice to become a Jewish professional, a clergy person, it is 
a big deal, a machaya, a joy. Let's join our voices together as we welcome Shabbat together. Hine matov manai Shevet dachim gam yachad Hine matov manai Shevet dachim gam yachad Hine matov Shevet dachim gam yachad such a joy to, uh, to hear our congregational voices together. It's time now that we have raised our souls a little bit in singing together. Let's welcome Shabbat singing L'cha Dodi. Uh, you'll find the words on page 138 and page 139 in the Siddur, which you, might, you will find if it's your first time under your seat. Surprise. Yes. Yes. This past week, we had Yom Yerushalayim a day of note in 1967, the reunification. The IDF soldiers arriving at the Kotel able to pray for the first time. And so we'll use that melody tonight for Lechado D. Lechado D. If you're 
are able, we rise, face our entrance door at the back of our sanctuary. Feel Shabbat coming in among us. Boi b'shalom ateret ba'ala Gam basimcha uved sohola Toch emune am segula Boi chala, boi chala We join together on page 140. Mizmor Shir Le Yom HaShabbat Tov Lehodot Ladonai. A psalm, a song for Shabbat. It is good to praise Adonai, to sing hymns to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your steadfast love at daybreak, your faithfulness each night, with a ten-stringed harp, with voice and lyre together. You have gladdened me by your deeds, Adonai. I shout for joy at your handiwork. How great are your works, Adonai, how very subtle your designs. A brute cannot know, a fool cannot understand this. The righteous bloom like a date palm. They thrive like a cedar in Lebanon. Planted in the house of Adonai, they flourish in the courts of our God. In old age, they still produce fruit. They are full of sap and freshness, attesting that Adonai is upright, my rock in whom there is no wrong. We continue with the Chatzik Kaddish on page one. 44. Please rise if you are able. Yikadal ve it kadashame raba. Be almadi vrak yerute ve amli malhute. Be haye hon of yo me hon of haye do hol bet Yisrael. Bagala, bagala, o vizman kari vehimeru, amen. Yehesh me raba mevorach, le alla mulal me almaya, it barak, it barak vehishtabach. Vit pa arvit romam ve hit na se, ve hit ha dar ve hit ale ve hit alal. Shme do kudeshavariku le elam in kol birchata ve shirata tush bechata ve nechemata damiran be alma ve himeru. Amen. Ya lai lai ya lai 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 ya lai 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 ya lai lai ya lai 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 ya lai ya lai 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 ya lai 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 ya lai 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 ya lai lai ya lai together in the Hebrew on page 148. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher bidvaro ma'ariv aravim, bechochma poteach she'arim, 
ובתבונה משנה עתים, ומחליף את הזמנים, ומסדר את הכוכבים במשמרותיהם ברקיע כרצונו. בורא יום ולילה, גולל אור מפני חושך, וחושך מפני אור. ומעביר יום ומביא לילה, ומבדיל בין יום ובין לילה, אדוני צבאות שמו. אל חי וקיים תמיד ימלוך עלינו לעולם ועד. ברוך אתה אדוני המאמין ערבים. Join me on the next page, please. seated. We continue together on page 154. <laughs> אשר אנוכי מצווך היום על לבביך ושיננתם לבניך ודיברת הפעם ושבתך בביתך ובלכתך בדרך ובשוכבך ובקומך וקשרתם לאות על ידיך איך היו לתותפות בין עיניך וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי והייתם קדושים לאלוהיכם אני אדוני אלוהיכם אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים להיות לכם לאלוהים אני אדוני אלוהיכם אדוני אלוהיכם אמת. In a world torn by violence and pain, a world far from wholeness and peace, give us the courage to say Adonai There is one God in heaven and earth. 
the high heavens declare your glory, may earth reveal your justice and love. From bondage in Egypt, we were delivered. At Sinai, we bound ourselves to your way. Inspired by prophets and instructed by sages, time and again, we overcame oppressive forces. Though our failings are many and our faults are great, it has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keeping alive in dark ages your vision of a world redeemed. Let us continue to work for the day when the nations shall be one and at peace, then we shall rejoice as Israel did, singing on the shores of the sea. On page 161, give us a place to rest, Adonai, our God. Bring us into shelter, into the long, soft evening shadows of your truth. For with you are true protection and safety, and in your presence are acceptance and gentle love. Watch over us as we go forth, prepare for us as we return. Spread over us your shelter of peace, over all we love, over our Jerusalem and yours. Baruch atah Adonai, hapuri sukat shalom aleinu, ve'al kol amo Yisrael, ve'al Yerushalayim. On the top of page 162, ve'shamru, Some of the difficulties of this week. Let's go. Ah. Shabbat by 
Ina Fash. Let us take a deep sigh and welcome in the rest of Shabbat. Shabbat. Able to please rise as we continue with Tifila. And... On page one hundred and sixty-four. <laughs> Fiagi Tehila Teha Adonai Open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise Baru. Adonai Eloheinu Elohe Avotena the Imotenu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzhak Elohe Ako Elohe Sara Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel Elohe Leah Ha El Hagadol Hagibor Vehanora El El Gomel chasad tovim vekone hakol vezocher haste avot veimachot umevigel lalev nevenehem lema an shemo veahava melech hozer umoshia umagain baruch ata Adonai magen Avraham veesrat Sarah. Atagi borle lamaronai, Mihaye ha cola taraf le hoshia, Morid ha tal, Mihakel haim behesed, Mihaye ha col berahamim rabim, so met no flim verofe holim, O matira suri. O mekaye memunato li shenea far mi hamoha ba al gevurot o mi domelach melech me mi du mekaye o mas mi ak yeshua vene emana tala hayot hakol. Baruch Ata Adonai Bechaye Hakol Ata Kadosh Veshim Hakadosh Uktoshim Bechol Yom Yechalu Hasela Baruch Ata Adonai Ha'el Hakadosh Please be seated. Disturb us, Adonai. Ruffle us from our complacency. Make us dissatisfied. Dissatisfied with the peace of ignorance, the quietude which arises from a shunning of the horror, defeat, bitterness, and the poverty, physical and spiritual, of humans. Shock us, Adonai. Deny to us the false Shabbat, which gives us the delusion of satisfaction amid a world of war and hatred. Wake us, O God, and shake us from the sweet and sad poignancies rendered by half-forgotten melodies and rubric prayers of yesteryears. Make us know that the border of the sanctuary is not the border of living, and the walls of your temples are not shelters from the winds of truth, justice, and reality. Disturb us, O God, and vex us, 
Let not your Shabbat be a day of torpor and slumber. Let it be a time to be stirred and spurred to action. Baruch Adonai Mekadesh HaShabbat Ritzei Adonai Eloheinu Be'amcha Yisrael Utfila Tam Be'ahavati Kabel Uthila Ratzon Tamid Avodat Yisrael Amecha El Karov Lechol Korav Pnei El Avadecha Vechonenu Shefoch Ruchacha Aleinu let our eyes behold your loving return to Zion. Blessed are you, Adonai, whose presence returns to Zion. God of goodness, we give thanks for the gift of life, wonder beyond words for the awareness of soul, our light within, for the world around us, so filled with beauty, for the richness of the earth, which day by day sustains us, for all these and more, we offer thanks. Baruch atah Adonai, atav shimcha, ulecha na'el You'll find our prayer for peace on the next page 178 Shalom ra al Yisrael amcha tasim le'olam Shalom ra al Yisrael Take a moment for silent personal meditation. turn to the counting of the Omer on page 570.
הנני מוכן ומזומן לקיים מצוות עשה של ספירת העומר. I am ready to fulfill the mitzvah of counting the Omer. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kidshanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu al svirat haomer. Our praise to you, Adonai, sovereign of all, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to count the Omer. Hayom shisha v'arba'im yom shehem shisha shavuot v'arba'a yamim la'omer. Today is 46 days, which is six weeks and four days of the Omer. And we have opened the gates of prayer tonight with our tefillah. So it is a wonderful opportunity to pray for those in need of healing. So I invite you all to call into your hearts and your mind, those in your home, those in your neighborhood, those in your family, those among your friends, those in the world, that are so in need of healing. Mishiverach avotenu v'imotenu Avraham Yitzhak v'yakov Sara Rivka Rachel v'leahu yiverech et hacholim in our community and on our healing list this evening, I'd like to mention the following names. Leonor Sorger, Miriam Dove, Emily Appel, Laura Katari, Frida Rafkina, Michael Rafkin. Gladys Mosley, Barry Pekilis, Loriana Fell, Philip Shamus, Anna Herman, Mayor Burstor, Naomi Levy, Vladimir Gutkin, Audrey Kusen, Kalem Denot, Hanabat Shoshana, Carter Rosenbaum, Ron Berenbaum, Celia Berlin, Ryan Langerer, Pam Sisi, and Rabbi Cohen. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Bamid Bar is the beginning portion of the Book of Numbers, the ultimate transitional text. If we look at the Torah as a story akin to a modern series format, Numbers is that penultimate tome where none of the major plot points occur, we don't fight the last battle or unmask the killer, and there's certainly no big wedding but we set up exactly where we need to be in order to bring our story to a conclusion. Don't let the name Bamidbar fool you. Bamidbar translates to in the desert, and when we catch up with the Israelites in this new book of Numbers, we've already been in the desert quite a while. Biblical timelines can be hazy, but the marks of time passing are clear. In this portion, we hear about the adult children of Aaron and in just a few weeks time, the death of Miriam, who is reaching her hundreds about now. If we continue with our novel series analogy, this is the book of Torah where we begin to lose the original cast of characters 
and we hope that the series will continue strong with the next generation who know not Egypt. With its masterful setup of Deuteronomy, Bamidbar poses us with an essential question, what happens next? It is fitting that in the outset of this portion, the Israelites are preparing for war. The Israelites have been divided into groups from the Reubenites to the Benjaminites. The combat ready people of Israel are split into sections of a whole and counted. It appears these groups travel together on their journey and submit to the same divine leadership, but that may be the extent of it. Each group has its own chief, its own camp, and its own numbers. For anyone who has been following Israeli news this week, this story of the splintering factions of a whole may sound familiar. This week, extreme far-right nationalist security minister and national security minister, Itamar Ben-Gvir, leader of the ultra-nationalist Otzma Yehudit party in the Knesset, announced that Otzma will be reserving its right to vote against the ruling coalition, despite being a part of that ruling coalition. Ben-Gvir claims that he believes Netanyahu is hiding a section of a ceasefire agreement that involves ending the war, which goes against the stated goals of Otzma Yehudit's MKs. Though this outspoken move is not necessarily definitive, it is a significant display of division amongst the most vocal of the Israeli political sphere. On the opposite side of the Israeli political spectrum, moderate Benny Gantz, leader of the centrist National Unity Party, is also threatening to pull his party from the government coalition over war plans. National Unity put forward a set of six objectives that Netanyahu must agree to in order to avoid a government shutdown, which include securing alternative governance for the Gaza Strip and requiring national service from all Israelis, including its ultra-Orthodox citizens. Like with Otsma, we won't know until tomorrow whether or not National Unity gets its win, but either party's withdrawal from the coalition would likely result in a Knesset shutdown and a sixth election in a five-year period. Despite the two leaders' stark difference in political ideologies, they're running parallel to each other in their approach to these ongoing issues. Yet their opinions on a desired outcome remain at odds. Gantz is thinking about the day after, ben is not. The question of the day after has been on all of our minds since the beginning of this war. What will happen when the soldiers move out? Who will rebuild Gaza and how will they do it? How will Israel respond? How will the mass protests on university campuses respond? How can we repair the trust we need to work towards lasting peace together? Once we are out of the desert, what happens next? While living in Jerusalem, I was privileged to live down the street from Protest Square next to the Prime Minister's residence. This is Jerusalem's hottest spot on Saturday nights after Shabbat, when thousands gather to call for a hostage deal and an end to the war, and others gather to call for the complete destruction of Hamas, no matter the cost. These protests take place at the same time, only a block apart. The vision from an overhead is one of massive division, and it can feel that way on the ground too, since Jerusalem is a city built on political extremes. And again, we're presented with a desert dichotomy, stay and maintain the status quo or go and embrace the uncertainty that comes with moving forward if this conflict is our wilderness then the state of israel has been wandering for 76 years almost twice as long as the israelites of the torah but for this the wisdom bamidbar gives us is clear the journey must have a destination and we must prepare for when we get there we must look to the day after and like Caleb and Joshua, plan for it. The desert was never meant to be our long-term home, and the day will come when we all must leave. We owe it to ourselves, our neighbors, and the goal of lasting peace to know what we're doing when we get there. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Working together is not always easy. I'm not talking about you and me. I'm talking about Israeli <laughs> politics. Working with you is lovely and easy. <laughs> And
rise for the concluding prayer of our service, the Elenu. You'll find the Elenu on page 586, page 586. Alenu le shabeak la don ha kol, la tate gedu la liot se bereshit, shelo asanu kegoe haratzot, velo samanu kamish bochota adama, shelo sam helkenu kahem, vegora lenu kehol hamonam, ba anachnu kororim, O mishtachavim umodim, lifne melech malche hamlachim, hakadosh baruchu, shehun ote shamayim veyosed aretz, o moshe vikaro bashamayim imaal, ushkin atuzo, ushkin atuzo, pekof emeromim. O Eloheinu enod, em et malkeinu et besulato, kakatu betorato, v'yadata hayom, v'yadata hayom, v'chashevota elevavecha, ki Adonai hu ha-Elohim, Bashamayim imaal Ve'al ha'aretz Ve'al ha'aretz Mi'itachat enod V'nemar V'chaya Adonai L'melech al kol ha'aretz B'yom ha'u Bayom ha'hu, iye Adonai echad. Ushemo, ushemo, ushemo echad. We come to the point in our service where we recall those we have been separated from by death. We gather as a community to commemorate the period of Shloshim for Ora Markstein, Anna Schaefer, and Dorothy Brown. And for those who died at this season in years past, Alex Singer, Alan Harris, Anne Rose Siegel, Arthur Todd, Bertha Michael, David Latner, David Mendes da Costa, Kenneth Finkel, George Fingerout, Gloria Altman, Hinda Mendelssohn, Howard Brown, Ivan Bernath, John McKeary, Judith Bourne, Kiva Strom, Louis Greenspan, Philip Cohen, and Ruth Chodorov. We also commemorate all those Israelis that were brutally murdered, Al Kedushat Hashem, in the massacre on October 7th, and those who have perished in the weeks and months of war that have followed. You can find the Mourner's Kaddish on page 598. Zichronam Levracha, may their memories be a blessing as we remain standing and recite the Mourner's Kaddish together. Yid Kadal V'yid Kadash Shemei Rabbah Be'almad divrach hirutei v'yamlich malchutei Be'chayechon u'v'yomechon u'v'chaye d'chol Beit Yisrael Ba'gala u'vizman kariv v'imru amen Yehei shmei rabah mevorach le'olam u'lamei almaya Yidbarach v'yishtabach v'yipa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnase V'yitadar v'yitale v'yitalal shmei d'kudasha b'richu Le'ela min kol b'irchata v'shirata Tush bechata v'nechemata, damiran be'alma v'imru, amen. Yehei shlam araba min shamaya, v'chaim aleinu ve'al ko Yisrael v'imru, amen. Ose shalom b'imramav, hu ya'ase shalom, aleinu ve'al ko Yisrael v'imru, amen. 
Please be seated. We'd like to welcome Mr. Roy Paulington up for our announcements this Shabbat evening. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Our celebration of Shabbat will continue tomorrow morning online only, as our religious school has now ended for the year. Join with Cantor Baruch for Shabbat morning prayers and songs at 10.30 a.m., followed by Torah study with Rabbi Cohen at 11 a.m. This Saturday evening at 7.30 p.m., everyone is invited to Abdallah with friends at the Loweth Farm at their brand new Summit Dairy facility. Bring a portable chair, treats to share, and there will be lots of music, friends, and fun. In anticipation of the festival of Shavuot, there will be a cheesecake silent auction. We hope you find your dairy treasure to enjoy for the holiday. And speaking of Shavuot, we begin this coming Tuesday, June 11th at 6.30 p.m. when we will be joined with Shirai Bethel a Congregation in Oakville for a service, potluck dinner, and study of the Book of Ruth. Shavuot morning service will be here beginning at 10.30 a.m., followed by a festive Kiddush luncheon with Dairy Delights. We have an intimate focus on Israel with three upcoming events. Cantor, what are they? Well, <laughs> next week, our Friday night service on June 14th features special guest speaker, Lee Weiser. She's the chairperson of Arts of Canada, and she will speak to us about the importance of reform Judaism at this difficult time in Israel's history. The service will be followed by a special Israeli style Oneg Shabbat, right Angelique? I heard that. On Sunday morning, June the 16th, our Breakfast Club features our member, Ronnie Miller, who recently visited Israel and toured the sites where terrorists infiltrated, murdered, and kidnapped Israelis. He will be sharing his experiences and stories from that trip. And the following Sunday morning, on June 23rd, our Breakfast Club is honored to be hosting survivors of the October 7th massacre in Israel. The Canadian Zionist Federation has brought them to Canada to offer firsthand testimonies to Jewish communities. Please come out to welcome them. Back to you, Roy. And thank you to Arlie and Bob Singer for blessing the candles tonight and for sponsoring our own egg Shabbat in memory of Alex Singer. And thank you to Angelique Hamilton for preparing it. Thank you also to Daniel Warren for managing our streaming equipment and to Rhonda Dahan for serving as our Zoom host and baking challah for us. Your efforts are all greatly appreciated. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you. We're gonna to sanctify this Shabbat by chanting the Kiddush over wine and by blessing the bread. So I invite you to rise with that kavanah. Can you hold, you hold the glass Vayehirvi boker yom ha-shishi, vayehulu ha-shamayim v'cha-aretz v'chol sava'am, vayehulu lukhim b'yom ha-shvi m'lakto asher asa, vayishbot b'yom ha-shvi m'ikom m'lakto asher asa, vayivarech Elohim et yom ha-shvi v'kadesh oto, ki vo-shabat m'ikom m'lakto asher b'rolukhim la-asot, baruch ha-ta Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha-olam, Bore peri hagafen, Baruch atadonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kiddushanu b'mitzvotam, Beratzavahanu, Beshabbat kodsho be'ahava uvratzon kinhilanu, Zikaron lemaase vereshit, Ki hu yom tehila lemikraye kodesh, Zecher letziat mitzrayim. Kivanu vacharta 
ואותנו קידשת מכל העמים. בשבת קודשך באהבה וברצון הנהלתנו ברוך אתה אדוני מקדש השבת אמן. לחיים. Yeah, great, awesome. Thanks to Rana Dahan tonight for baking us delicious challah. And Angelique, would you mind um, being the passer outer? Is that a word? You do a passing outer. <laughs> Baruch Atadonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, HaMotzi Lechem Min HaAretz, Amen. You have to symbolically do this. Hine Mato, Omanayim, Shevet Achim, Gam Yachar, Hine Mato, to be together on this day how good it is how I, sweet Michelle, it is I, um, to be together I, on I, this I, day What do you usually do when you have volume problems? Do you just do nothing or do you tell someone? Um, I let people know. I make sure that my volume is up high. Is that sometimes? No, I, did you not hear the volume going in, in and out? I didn't hear it tonight, no. I did. I kept hearing it in and out. Oh. Oh, weird. Okay. Maybe it's on my end. Yeah, no, I didn't hear any issues. Did anyone else hear, um, have sound issues tonight? I'd appreciate an answer if anybody can give me one. <laughs> no, the sound was fine. Oh, really? Okay. Maybe it's my machine. All right. I didn't have any issues. But anyway. Shabbat shalom. 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 Bye. Bye.